Hey, how's it going? I'm playing the Ocarina of Time. Now, I took a little shortcut and just kind of turned off the game and then turned it back on. So now I'm back here in the uh, Temple of Time. Alright, so you may be wondering why I'm now here after being in the Temple of Time. Well, it appears my audio kind of fucked up somewhere in the middle of all this, so... Uh, I guess a little recap of what happened. I smelled a little bit of a shit. I then got to learn a new song, I think the Prelude of Light. I then ran over here to... Uh, encounter this rolling around Goron named Buttstuff. I apologize for the bad name, Buttstuff. That was actually my fault. He gave me the Goron tunic. I'm hoping my audio doesn't shit the bed again, but, well, not my luck, it probably will. So that's where I currently stand right now. Where do you stand? Probably nowhere. Let's go. Also, in the middle of all that, I got the uh, upgrade wallet, too, so. Yeah, I, I did stuff. When you stop crossing dress saying, I want to have sex with you. So this must be what you call a short part. I was planning to like have a whole episode or whatnot, like trying to get to this place, and I literally got here within like a minute. That being said, it usually takes a minute to get here, so I guess I'm right on schedule. Let's go. What's beyond this door? Is it someone masturbating? Oh, Daryuna. Yeah, that's right. Also, in between like all the auto fuck up. I think I figured out his name was Daryuna. I'm pretty sure that's it. And the boss is Valvegia. Or Valvegia. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going with. The legendary hammer. Well, if you want to contact this guy, his name's Mario. Uh, last name, I believe, is Mario. He has an excellent person with hammers. You know, he knows all about that. Although he knows all the stuff about hammers, turns out he's a plumber, so don't, don't worry about that. But contact him. He can help you out there. Maybe he can save you from probably being executed by the dragon. Well, that was a very peaceful conversation. Just watched someone go to his death, so... Poor guy. So you wanna, like, get free or whatnot? You're gonna have to pay. You give me a blowjob, I'll let you out. That deal? I don't think he's responding. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, this guy's seen some shit. He's so scared. It's like he's just saw his like parents having sex or something. He just can't get rid of it. Oh my! Oh well. He stopped shaking. So, all right. Well, that was easy. I guess if you see your parents having sex, you just press a button, and then all of a sudden you're good. That's simple. Open up, bitch. Oh, my first of like I think it. I think we calculated it's uh eight small keys in this dungeon. I should have like a running count or something. There's so damn many. Alright, we gotta go save some more Gorons. Come on, Link, traverse the lava. Don't be afraid. Actually, don't be a little bitch. You can run through the lava. It's not that big of a deal. Come on, you can jump out of it. Eh. Figured I'd actually lose some, like, hearts or whatnot. Hey there, champ. I'm here to save ya. The price is a million dollars. Fork it over. So, I remember this is a story. The first time I ever played this game, we entered this room, and I believe we ended up, uh... That like like over there had to eat us, and we lost our tuning because of it. Because when like like eats you, when you have a a certain item you can buy, you will lose it. I didn't know that at the time, so we left the room. We didn't kill it, so we didn't actually get it back. So of course that the room out there, if you don't have a tunic on, you have to run crazy because you're gonna burn alive. So we ended up actually having to just erase the whole file. We never learned you could just buy another one if you had 200 rubies. Now there's no hope in hell that we actually had enough to get the uh, 200 ruby bag. So, just that whole file was just a whole bunch of fuck. It was a lot of me being dumb, but it just had a whole lot of fuck in it, too. Yeah, that was the first time I ever played this game. The first I made it was this room. And now playing it for probably the... I don't know, 20th time? I passed how far I got it the first time. A very, It's always a very emotional moment for me. Brace yourself, wall. Because you're not going to be surviving much longer. Hmm. I should get probably looking at investing in a better shield. Can protect me from a fucking bomb. Howdy there, soldier. And get the fuck out of there. You know, just get the fuck out of my fucking face. There are switches in the temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop. You have to cut to activate. The fuck is he talking about? I think it's a Goron special crop, but alright, well we we'll just cut it, alright? I got some scissors in my back pocket, we'll fucking cut it. It's like a ribbon at like the opening ceremony. What are you gonna do? You're gonna cut it. 
You see a long ass line, what do you do? You cut it. Be very careful. Don't fall. Oh, hey, nice double shot. Yay, we're going to the moon. Yay, yay, what the fuck? Oh, the moon looks pretty damn depressing. Come on, we got the muscle there, Link. Get this block fucking down to the ground. Yeah, you like that block. You like being down the ground and me on top of you. Yeah, you do like that. You like that shit. It'd be like seeing a giving someone a Christmas gift. Hope you enjoy that. Just dropped it down the fucking chimney. There's a bomb, too, so, you know, it's a very explosive Christmas this year. Ah, uh, yes, this room. There's always so much you can do in this room. More than you'd ever guess. For instance, did you know they actually hit a strip club in this uh, room? Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh Jesus, oh boy. Well, this guy really wanted me to get cornered. Huh, well, he lost the advantage, now I have the tactical advantage. I don't have any way to like, kill him. What if bombs can actually do anything to them? I only have one suppression risk, that'd be pretty damn stupid. Oh, Jesus. That keyhole that goes in the key, that'd be a perfect place to practice myself having sex with something. You know, just take the different dick and just shove it right in there. It's like Thad Castle's pocket pussy, except for, you know, a key, so it can actually open something, too. So it's dual purposes. That right there is efficient. That's an efficient product right there. Nice try hiding from me. You got any bombs you can give me? I'm running a bit low. It's not a fall. I remember falling in this room is just an asshole at hell. Like, even the devil would never let this be, like, his punishment falling in this room. You go all the way back to, like, the first, or not the first room, but the room directly right of the first room. It's horrible. Yes, I have done that before. I have fallen. It was a nightmare. I still have nightmares about it. Alright, so, a little predic predicament I'm in. I don't have any bombs. I'm still confused on how I'm going to solve this problem. I need to get some bombs here. Who in their right mind would give me bombs? Please give me a bomb. No, God damn it, I need a bomb, not hearts. Oh, Jesus. A little eager there, Link. We probably shouldn't have run into that. Ow. Well, that was very impolite, wasn't that? Attention! Does anyone in this room have any bombs they want to give me? Do you bats have any bombs? How about you pill a road sitting around shooting at fire? Looks like some, something out of like straight out of Hawaii or whatnot. Any of you boulders? Anyone? Anyone can help me here? I'm in a little bit of predicament. Any bombs over here? Yeah, don't be afraid of the fire. Oh, maybe this guy can give me some bombs. You want to do that again? You just jump right out of the lava. Can you do me a solid here, buddy? There you go. Come on, get him, Link. Alright, uh, you know he's a little too quick for me. How many rooms are they gonna have to retreat to find bombs? God damn it. Like, I'm really tempted. You know what? Let's just conquer my fear and my dreams. There's probably some bomb stuff down there, anyways. Ah! Right on the bridge. What a perfect landing. Any of you guys have things, uh, some bombs? I'm rolling this direction looking for some bombs. There's some bats I can kill this room. Guaranteed bombs in here. You guys... Fuck you. Well, someone just dropped some goddamn bombs. Let's see if one of these bats can do it. How about you? You look like you have a lot of bombs up in your sleeves. What do you even drop? Like, blast them all the way over here. I don't think he actually dropped anything. Ugh! Please give me bombs. Ugh! How the fuck did I end up all the way back in the first room? I'm just making so much progress in this dungeon. Oh, this is taunting. Guess who's back in this room? Now actually has bombs so that he can actually complete the goddamn room. Oh my goodness, this has been a lot tougher than it should have actually been. Like, all I'm trying to do is just blow up this goddamn floor, goddammit. I couldn't have any fucking bombs anywhere around in this here in this dungeon. I don't actually know anywhere in the dungeon where the- I'm pretty- there's gotta be a place where our pot you can just destroy over and over again to get bombs. But where it is, I have no fucking idea. Oh, God. 
You better be happy, sir. I wasted like 10 years trying to save your fucking ass. Fuck you, totem pole. Just want my fucking heart and get it the fuck out of here. Kindly bend over and just fuck your own ass. Then you two all. You both can just make fuck each other's ass. I may take your middle fingers and just shove them both up your ass at the same time. Just really, just get in there good. Ah, oh, I'm so hateful right now. Do you have any bombs you can give me? Well, I found the pot with the bombs in it. Just too bad it was like on the other side of that door that was locked. Well, you know, that was just intelligent by me. About face soldier? Nope, fuck you soldier. I'm coming for that ass. I'm coming back for that ass, you know it. Oh shit, he's on the run. Subject is on the move. Subject got hit by a sword. The sword was for me. Poke. One more poke. Oh, alright, I'll get you on the other side. Alright, here, nice. We met up. Bandit chip. Oh, I still got hit. Alright, that shield is completely useless. Can't even block a fucking blast. We gotta go, Link. We gotta beat this dungeon. It's giving me a huge headache. I have a lot of bombs now, though, so that's not a problem. I can take some of these bombs and probably shove them into my, like, man nips and whatnot and maybe make them be a little bigger than have them blow up so I can be like, Oh, you have such big packs, and I'm like, nope. And it'll probably not only kill me, but kill whoever's near me, too, so... That's why it's a splendid idea. This has been one of the biggest bitches I've ever encountered. I've never really encountered many bitches. But this is certainly going to be one of the biggest bitches I've ever encountered. Open up the chest, we got the fucking Megaton Hammer. Give me a fucking watermelon, I need a fucking Galaga now, just smashing all this shit. Watermelon's just gonna explode in a million pieces. I'm gonna find a car window and just smash the shit out of it. Then I'm gonna smash the other window, I'm gonna smash the windshield, I'm gonna smash that car to bits. I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble though, because, you know, that's illegal, but... I don't give a shit, I have a hammer now, fuck everything. Hmm. Seem to be having a bit of a tooth problem there, sir. Let me fix that. You feeling any better? Well, you shouldn't, I just hit you with a fucking hammer. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. This hammer has the power to create stairs. What does your hammer have the power to do? Be a tool. That's all it's got the power to fucking do. It's a fucking loser. It's a tool. Place the block down. Well, kind of missed, but I guess it counts. Alright, well, reality's struck in. I didn't miss. Alright, like now place it down in a strategical spot where it actually will stay. Yeah, that'll work. That will do. Alright, so this at least ends my uh, mystery on how many small keys there are. So this would make, I think, eight small keys, unless I messed up my math, and I hope I didn't, because that'd be embarrassing. It's simple enough math. Eight small keys, and there's that extra Gorn you save, that's the uh, boss key. That's a nice place to be, it's out of the way. Wait, wait. I just realized something. I never get the heart piece from being Phantom Gan. I've been set six hearts this whole time. Well, I'm stupid as shit. So, as long as I can make this jump, I've beaten the Fire Temple. So this is one long ass video. I kind of fucked up the audio, like, end of the Fire Temple, so pretty much this whole video is just from straight from after being Phantom Ganon to now about to take on this dragon little bitch. So, you know what? I think I, I, uh, this is a good time to stop the video. That's it. See ya.